No, because I'm about to jump on Instagram Live because I kept debating if I wanted to post content today and like, why are we not? Like, do you want to make money or not? Like, period. Ah, guys, I am just, why are you not going live? Hold on, don't play with it. Because I'm just too excited. Hello, guys. Wait until tomorrow. Just wait until tomorrow. I don't even want to post anything prematurely. I've learned the hard way not to announce my blessings or opportunities too early. But all I'm going to say is, if you know deep down inside you have a vision for your life and where you want to go and who you want to be and what that life looks like. If you have a clear direction of exactly how you want to make money and this is what happens. You dream about that life that you one day want right but you're very realistic and so what happens is you try to live in reality and you do what you have to do because you're an adult right you need to make money you have responsibilities you have bills you have children you're not a dreamer right so you do what you need to do and, and you're the responsible one and for some of us, we've gone to school, we've invested in college, colleges and certifications, and we have skills. And for a huge part of us, we're not even doing what we love at work, but we're getting paid really well, right? We don't have any complaints. And so what happens is we get so caught up being responsible, and I think we get so caught up uh, doing what we have to do right in our regular traditional nine to fives is funding our lifestyle right and we're not complaining like we we can either work remote or we work somewhere that like we're working hard towards that role and we may be in a field that we went to school for so our ego is good and we're working really hard and we're very proud of ourselves and for some of us we put our little degrees on the wall and we try to convince ourselves that we're happy and we try to convince ourselves that we're doing a good job, right? As long as the money is coming, we're not complaining. And then this is what happens. About every year or so, maybe every two years, something shakes you up and you get an opportunity and you're like, oh shit, this is actually what I want to do. Like in a perfect world, this is what I want to do full time. Like in a perfect world, I actually want to be doing this. And we either get an opportunity that shakes us up, something happens at work that reminds us of what we really want to be doing. And so this is what that looks like. Let's just say something happens at work. If you are someone who, who says in your mind, oh, this is why I can't work for anybody. Oh, I can't wait to leave this job. Or, you know, every now and again, something just shakes you up and it reminds you that like this isn't the end all be all for yourself. Or you see somebody or you meet someone that's already there and they're already doing what you actually want to do. But the career you're in is paying you well, right? You're comfortable. You may have already made friends. You've kind of already shifted your mindset to say, okay, I'm just focused on this. I'm focused on work. I want to be good at what I'm doing. You know, I work remote or I'm hybrid or the pay is really well. The benefits are really good. I mean, we convince ourselves of a million benefits, which is great. But then every few years, something happens and you're like, damn. I need to be an entrepreneur. I need to start this business. I need to be working for myself. I need to be doing this as a freelancer. I need to be working remotely. I need to be building this thing. And 
Guys, this whole like little scenario just happened to me today. Ah! And I called my husband. And I said what I said. And as always, he said, oh, I know you're serious. And I know you can do it. And I'm not going to share it this time. Because at this point, the only thing in between you and that thing, right, is your everyday routine. Your everyday routine. And if whatever it is for you in your lives that you want to do, you want to commit to, you want to do full time, you want to grow, um, the biggest thing that you can build right now is your marketing strategy, is your platforms. And so content is so big, no matter what industry you're in, what you want to sell, what you want to do, the service you want to provide, if you can just get used to waking up every day and posting every single day, you're already winning the largest part of the battle. So later, you don't have to pop up on social media and say, hey guys, hello. I turned in my letter of resignation and this is what I'm doing now. Come follow us. We have three followers and now I have to build trust and credibility and show you guys that I'm serious. But if you are already posting that content, if you are already doing the work, if you are already sharing with us all of the hustle and the grind behind the scenes, when that time finally comes, I feel like you would just feel like you've arrived. And so, by the way, I'm talking to myself as I'm talking to you guys. And so, I think the biggest thing is just showing up as the person you actually dream of being one day. And guys, I've been doing this for the entire month of January. And the fact that it's February 7th, and I just received the best news and received the best email. You guys will hear all about it tomorrow. But it just proves to me that the strategy and the formula isn't broken. So show up online as the person you want to be. So for an example, if you want to be a full-time influencer, you should be showing up every day on TikTok. Waking up every day, brushing your teeth, showing us behind the scenes, putting on your outfit, trying Pilates just because that's what all the girls are doing. You know, show us you getting your hair done, give us B-roll playing with your children, um, clean up in a time-lapse video. If you tell me you want to be a full-time influencer, you should already be showing your day-to-day -day life. Don't wait for the new car, the new apartment, for your skin to clear up, for you to lose any weight. Just show us. If I get one more one-on-one -on -one coaching, I mean, one-on-one -on -one client that tells me they're waiting for their edges to grow back in order to start a YouTube channel, like I'm tired of it okay or I speak to a lot of older women and they always say that they want to start a business and they've had this business in their mind and on their hearts for years that they've never started and the first thing I ask is well are you consistent on social because if you grow the audience once you actually have the money and the courage to put out the product the sales should just convert Right? Because you've already been growing that audience. Okay, but tonight wasn't supposed to be a training. But all in all, I just want to encourage everyone, like seriously, just think about that life that you truly desire when all of your responsibilities are out of your hands. I don't know if you guys remember when I was on Pranked on MTV, um, my brother and Polly D from the Jersey Shore pranked me. And the prank was that I won the Powerball and it was $7 million. And I remember, and guys, like, that show is the real deal. I seriously thought I won $7 million. And for those few hours when I was still, like, in the prank and I thought that this was serious and for real, um, I remember exactly what I told myself I was going to do. And think about it, if you become a millionaire instantly and you no longer have to work ever again, like what would you do? And how ironic that same thought that I had, what, two years ago, I had today. 
And so life happened today. Um, and it wasn't like good, right? It wasn't positive or anything. And I just thought about that one thought like, damn, I want to be doing this. And then good news came to me. And then it reminded me, damn, I really want to do this full time. And so my only message for tonight is don't forget that thing that you really want to do. Don't forget that thing that you know for a fact that is your calling. That's what you want to do. That's how you want to show up in the world. That's how you want to make your money. And so for a lot of us, we're taking the traditional route. Um, and I don't want to discourage anyone because I'm doing it and I'm very proud. Um, and I'm mostly doing it for my legacy. But we're just in seasons. We are just in seasons. But I want you guys to watch me post my way through my next season and finally get to my destination. And I'm really excited about it. I'm already proud of myself for doing it. I'm already patting my damn self on the back because the only thing stopping me is my consistency on social. It's the only thing. And so I just wonder how many people watching this video, how many people are too afraid to show up, uh, making excuses as to why they can't show up. How many people really want to build something bigger than themselves? And for some reason, they're just stuck in limbo. And all you need to be doing is posting your day-to-day -day life. All you need to be doing is showing up on social. All you need to be doing is promoting yourself online. For a lot of you, you already have that thing already packaged and ready to go. But you can't actually go into full-time entrepreneurship because you are so focused on every other aspect of your business when you just need to be showing up and promoting yourself and your product and your service. That's it. That's the only thing keeping you from being a full-time entrepreneur. That's the only thing keeping you from closing these high ticket clients it's the only thing stopping you from your side hustle or your small business actually growing into a big business and so for this year one thing i told myself which was one of my goals that i don't think i've shared just yet i am going to stop calling my calling a side hustle i'm going to stop calling my purpose a small business Right, I'm going to stop intentionally downplaying what I know I really want to be doing because I think for these past few years I've been like lying to myself and trying to convince myself that like oh I just do YouTube for fun like you know it's just a check yeah I just like posting content but you know I actually have a full-time you know job in the corporate space like I'm not doing that anymore okay I tried the corporate thing. I love it. I'm passionate about it. I've honed my skills. I have went to college. I'm finishing my MBA. But once I prove to myself that that season can be done and accomplished and under my belt, now let's start seeing what I can really do. Now let's see the life that I can build outside of my safety net. And my two safety nets, and we're just being honest, now I'm just preaching God. Now this is just God going through me. My two safety nets is, one, my corporate position, but two, my husband. Oh, we're not ready for that conversation tonight. <laughs> so now, what can I do without either or? Like, what can I do? So we're going to, um, I hope you guys like my little ears. Sorry, I just didn't want to get my hair wet. But that's the challenge for 2023. And so I am going to post my way through it. Um, I'm going to stay consistent. But the biggest thing is just showing up. And you show up as if you already have the audience. You already have the followers. You already have the platform. As if you're already there. Like you just show up as if you already have a responsibility that if you don't post, you don't get paid. Challenging yourself, I'm here for it, absolutely. So, y'all know I just went down a rabbit hole, but all in all, I'm super excited to share with you guys my big news. Um, but I just think after a month of consistency and intentionally showing up online um, as the person I want to be or who I want to continue evolving as, um, I'm already reaping the benefits. I'm already seeing uh, people noticing me and my content. And by the way, I started a 
TikTok and Instagram for my son and I'm going to share it on President's Day. Guys, he already has a thousand views. And I just think this is so crazy for a two year old to get a thousand views on a TikTok. That is just insane to me. But I also feel like, and I'm just gonna close out with this, just in case anyone has been on one platform and you feel like it's just not sticking, right? You're just not getting the traction. Um, it's starting to feel like a hassle to pump out content. I highly recommend trying other platforms. Um, I talked about this on my Instagram story today. This has worked for one of my social media uh, clients. Um, just in case you've been doing YouTube for years, you may need to be on TikTok. Just in case you've been on Twitter, you may need to drop a podcast. Um, oh, my sushi's here. Um, but just in case you have been on Facebook and it's working for you, start investing in those ads in the Facebook ad manager. I would say stick to what works, but also switch it up if you just feel like one platform you're just not aligning with and that's okay. For a lot of you, if you've been selling on social, try those third party selling platforms. Should you be on uh, Macari? Should you be on uh oh, forget the other one poshmark um for a lot of people your services may need to be on pinterest you should be linking those pieces of content to your store or to your calendar whatever you provide so y'all just talked about a million different topics in one video but y'all know how i do anyway love you guys i'm super excited and i hope this video was really encouraging dm me if you need some marketing advice um don't forget i have the social media manager program still available that's actually going to go on sale tomorrow so hold off if you intend on booking um that program i would wait until tomorrow morning it'll be a hundred dollars off and yeah Talk to you guys soon.